Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asia. If you're new here, today's video is going to be my newborn must-haves list. It was a trial and error, but I'm super excited to be doing this video for you guys. I'm super excited to be producing baby content now that I'm a mom of two, but one is a newborn. You know, seven-year-old newborn, that is a big, big difference, and so many things have changed since I had Harper. So if you guys want to see what I recommend, what I've been loving, just keep on watching. Thank you so much to Baby List for partnering with us for this video. <sighs> I wouldn't be able to get these types of sponsorships without you guys so thank you guys so much it's just always such a bizarre surreal feeling being supported and working with brands that i already have spent my money with and stuff so it's just always like look at me manifesting stuff into my life um but yeah let's just get right into the video because i do have a lot of things to show you and yeah let's just get right to it all right so before we even get into my new work must-haves i just want to give you guys a little spill on baby list just in case you're unfamiliar to tell you all the great things that they do that they have etc etc so the one thing that i love about baby list is they have like these curated boxes with just options that way you're just not sitting there buying five of the same pacifiers ten of the same bottles and next thing you know when you have your baby it doesn't work out the way you planned aka me um they just also carry everything that you could think of for babies for toddlers toys clothes bottle feeding table feeding stuff like that like all the necessities you're going to need being a parent um you can create a baby registry on baby list but like the best part of having a baby registry on baby list is basically shows you every retailer that sells the item so that way like when your guests are going to your registry if another company works better for them to purchase it from that's perfectly fine it shows the prices as well so you can do a price comparison i also just wanted to hop on here really quick so you guys can see how the website looks as you can see everything is just broken up into categories very very nicely i'm shopping for toys for enzo but they also do sell high-end baby products which is nice because we all want them we just don't want to pay the price and because of that baby list does offer after pay which is amazing it just makes everything so accessible for everyone like getting back to the custom boxes they are my favorite i had to buy a few of them when enzo was first born because enzo did not like everything that i bought him he's a boss baby as you guys hear me call him all the time he is a man okay he knew what he likes he knew what he wanted and he didn't like the plans that i had for us together but like i was saying when enzo was first born i ended up um going with the boone nurse bobbies which i'll link down below we did end up using them um but enzo did get diagnosed with a lip tie which means that he just kind of had difficulty drinking out of the bottles that i wanted him to use because they were pretty i'm not gonna lie i like them because they were cute um it didn't work out that way his lip would tuck in it would not flip up and he would get like really really red at his top lip which was concerning to me because it wasn't painful i just i didn't want like anything to happen so i went on baby list when i want to say like enzo was like a week or two and i ordered the bottle box and it comes with a whole bunch of bottles that i can't even fit in my hand but these are like the most recommended most used bottles literally anybody will tell you that so the first one is the nano baby nano bb nano bebe bottle whatever you want to call it these are like i feel like the new cult favorite because they have the other ones that are almost shaped like a boot but a flat bottom but the nipples are consistently the same and the next one was the dr browns i didn't even try this one because it's I, <laughs> I can't i can't wash this a couple times a day and we are exclusively breastfed right now um but in the beginning he was getting a little bit of formula and i guess this is just too many parts for me i know parents that love dr brown though it just wasn't for me but next one is the nook bottle so if you guys know a lot of babies really love the nook pacifiers um because it's like almost a different shaped nipple i don't know if you guys can see that like it's more flat in comparison to like all of these round brush shaped nipples um we tried this one as well he wasn't crazy about this one so this one just it was booted for um i gave up um and the next one is the komotomo harper actually had the komotomo and we loved it but i just was like i already used it before let's try something new he'll drink out of this as well um but he'll still drink out of the boom nurse it still does the same thing with his lip tie um but I, again i just was super thankful that i had the option to try all these bottles rather than go spend like a hundred dollars on all of these separately well collectively paying like the full price per bottle rather than like I'll put the price of the box because you're just gonna be like that's crazy on the screen um, i got to see how like severe one bottle was making his lip tie in comparison to the others um, but then the last bottle is the bottle that he really really likes this is the hair ability bottle it's not the prettiest thing i've ever seen but he loves it it's like completely flat i don't yeah you guys can see it it's really really like different and the thing about this bottle is is that it's 
almost like a star shape I want to say and it comes up on the corners and it fills the corners of the baby's mouth it basically is foolproof for gas he really really likes this bottle um, so I'm waiting for a bunch of them to come in stock so I can order them for him and like they have sippy cups and stuff like that but that's why I needed the bottle box so the next kit they offer is the first A kit and oh my goodness first of all can we just talk about how cute it is the package the aesthetics for me like this is this is the cutest first aid kit i've ever seen in my life so it says baby list baby first aid kit preparedness kit developed by doctors so it's everything you need even when i saw it online i just was like wow it has like a 10 in the men's section right here so you just easily know what you're looking for i'll show you guys a few things that are in it we won't go through everything um but like for the 10 it came with a brush and comb the brush is already open because i used it on enzo last night and love this brush no baby brush compares to this his hair was looking it was thriving it was flourishing i'm not gonna lie it has a teething ring in here it has a pacifier just the same nipple as that nano um bottle that i showed you guys and a lot of babies love this i see it all the time on instagram it has a silicone toothbrush like when they first their teeth are first budding some emery boards oil this stuff that like when your baby is developing and changing you know um before the men's side the mend not men's side is where everything just is like you're really gonna need like and as a second time parent i'm vouching like these are things you're gonna need you're gonna need all those things as well but there might be things you've gotten in like other packages other gifts these are things that you're gonna be like nobody bought me and i needed that this infants tylenol when baby gets their shots and stuff they're always a little sore a little fussy a little uncomfortable you're gonna need some of this um, it has like some paste in here which is for like diaper rashes any rashes in general a bulb and as you can see it's packaged like a hospital like you know what's clean um i also have a rectal thermometer they just scare me the word rectal just scares me for my baby but i own like four baby first aid kits though none of them have these types of things in it but like yeah. but the next one is the swaddle box i'm so excited for this i wanted to open this as soon as i got this but i didn't because i wanted to show you everything in this packaging <laughs> this is the babyless swaddle box it just comes with some of the most loved swaddles in the market for baby one i'm most excited to try is this one um this is the love to dream i read about this all the time on mom blogs reddit stuff like that it comes with another one by happiest baby which is the brand that makes snoo um, but yeah this is the snoo one without the holes in the attachments to secure the baby to the snoo so it's just a regular swaddle same cute prints and all of that functionality where it just goes over the baby's arm with some velcro and zip baby up and it does have two zippers by the way that one i know how this works because i use these that go with my bassinet the next one is also one i always see people talk about which is the halo sleep sack and the last one is a aiden and a nine i think i'm saying that right swaddle blanket these are my favorite favorite blankets i don't use them to swaddle him like i said because he doesn't like being swaddled um but these are just my favorite blankets for when i'm nursing put over the car seat have in the car for when he's cold on a warm day like stuff like that because they're thin but they're still a blanket just super functional super breathable super soft i love this brand you're gonna hear me talk about this brand a lot in today's video so yeah that's the ones that come in the swaddle box not all babies like being swaddled the same way not all babies are gonna like the same swaddles so it's definitely a learning curve um, this one is a pacifier box girl this was another one that enzo played me but in this one it comes with this pacifier which most babies love the wubba nub it has a little monkey on it um, this is what I thought he was gonna love and he just didn't like it. I mean, I bought it in colors, everything, and he just said, no, it's not happening. Um, so yeah, we got the Wub and Nub. We have, what is, oh, this was the hair ability one. This one I'm super excited to try today. Again, I didn't want to open it because I wanted to film this video first. And then we have the Bibs one. This is what we currently use. He takes them when he wants to and he took it one day and i got excited and i literally ordered 30 colors i'm not gonna lie to you i'm gonna show you um and then we got the dr brown's one in here the nook one and also another one of the nano ones that was in the first case the first aid kit so they pretty much met the bottles from the bottle kit which is nice because that way your baby doesn't get nipple confusion um but girl when i tell you all my son is complicated <laughs> This little newborn gown, it's so stinking cute. It's phenomenal quality. It's by a brand called Gumi, I believe. 
um, is zero to three months. And when it came, I was like, that's not gonna fit him. It did. But the reason I like it is because as you can see, like right now it's a gown. You can unbutton this part and flip it out. And now it's an open gown. So like if your baby likes their feet out, if you guys see me looking all over, I'm looking in the monitor. Um, and then it has some gloves too. Love the color, you guys know I just love muted neutrals, but the quality is insane in this. Like, and speaking of Gumi, I also have a blanket by them. This is one of my favorite, favorite blankets. This is actually from a crib set, but I just love like the blanket itself because it just basically says like positive things. And when I, I have it on him, I just like to read it to him. All right, so the next couple things are clothing items as well. So the first thing is from their brand Aiden and Anai. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. I feel like that's how it has to be Aiden and Anai. Aiden and Anai. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. These little gowns are the best thing ever. I am so sad that they don't make way more clothes because their quality is phenomenal, stunning. They're in that same stretchy material, so I just I just knew he was comfortable. Like I just was like, you know, I want to wear your clothes right now. Come in these nice colors as well, like super neutral and stuff like that. And it just recently came out with a new collection that has like animals on it that I also picked up. But these are just phenomenal. They're like little tie gowns. So when he first came home, he wore these pretty much for like the first three or four weeks because they just were gentle. They were soft. They smell like drift because like, they just were washed, but so, so good. Put these on your registry. If nobody buys them for you off your registry, buy them yourself because they're they're like the best thing for newborns. Like, and then I also have the matching blanket right here. One of our favorite blankets. Again, breathable, it's huge, um, but it's warm. Like it's just so soft, it's so, so good. I, I can't speak highly enough about this brand and these are just the next bit of clothing is from kite baby this is the one that has no feet attached um, because Enzo is a kicker you guys know Enzo is a natural born soccer player so he just doesn't like footy pajamas so I opted for these ones so so soft I don't know if you guys can see the stretch in it it's just breathable it's pretty love the color you guys know sage is obviously my color um super super cute it came with a matching hat as well i think it's in here somewhere i don't know but love that brand as well this brand is expensive as well as the gumi one but i'm not gonna lie to you guys it's worth it it's worth it you don't have to splurge and get the whole entire baby collection and stuff from there but just get a few little items because they are really really nice um the next thing on my must-have list is shirts like this this little kimono long sleeve shirts i also have the short sleeve version as well and the reason that these are go-to's on my like newborn necessities is because when you come home with the baby and their umbilical stump is still attached i like to just let it breathe i don't want anything tight pressing against it irritating because i just i, I just can't imagine it's comfortable maybe they don't feel it but i can't imagine that it feels great so i love these for that um they're just easy they're all they put the baby in in the hospital i don't know if you guys know they put them like in these a little oversized um but they're just super super cute the enzo wears these every single night this is his bedtime shirt right here these long sleeve ones and that's because i put him in a wearable blanket that i'm going to show you guys in a second as well um and i just don't have to fuss with him in the middle of the night about buttoning stuff i literally unzip the wearable blanket change his diaper zip it back up boom we're done you know like these are your best friends. Next thing are burp cloths. Um, my favorite burp cloths, oh, this is a bit. What am I doing? My favorite burp cloths, again, the same, like, gauze material, muslin, muslin, whatever. Um, this one's super, super big, so I always, like, have one of these thrown over my shoulder or, like, somebody else is holding him. And these are phenomenal because they're just so, so absorbent, like, so absorbent. Like, this one is great because it's really, really gentle, but this one, when your baby throws up a lot, and it's like thick and curdled because it's gonna happen. You're gonna need ones that are a little thicker like these. My favorite types of bibs are these same <laughs> material. These are just really, really gentle on his face, but I have to wipe his face because now he's starting to drool um, and it's not like harsh or anything like that. And they're also cute because they're all white. They don't have like any logos or anything like that on them. So these are my favorite ones. They have two buttons on the back. So depending on baby's neck size, but yeah, these are definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite bibs. He wears these pretty much every single day. Cause the next two things are blanket related. So like I was telling you guys, Hanzo wears wearable blankets now. Um, these just work. They are double zippered, which is why I really, really like them. 
and they're cute okay, so now we're gonna go into like breastfeeding feeding i'm gonna show you guys all the stuff that's in front of me um if i don't have it i'm gonna put a picture on screen so my favorite item for breastfeeding i use a spectra pump i use the pink one this is the one you plug into the wall i mean it works i got it through my insurance um i'll link down the companies that i can find that you could get pumps through your insurance so like it works for me um i definitely have been able to keep up my breast milk supply which is really nice and yeah i, I enjoy pumping with it i really really like that it has a let down mode and like an expression mode because they are different you might not know that. And then the next thing that I love is a Boone formula dispenser that you'll see the photo of on screen. And the reason I like this one over every other formula dispenser is because rather than having to flip a formula dispenser and hoping all the formula goes in, when you're tired, wake up the next morning and be like, not every little drop of formula went into the bottle and you're gonna feel really guilty about it. So this Boone one, you twist off the bottom and it just automatically drops everything into it. So love, love, love that. Thank me later because you're gonna love it too. And the next few things are also breastfeeding related for me. So I have like the Medela Quick, uh, the Quick Clean Spray. So you clean your breast pumps obviously every day. Um, but like sometimes like if you're in between a breastfeeding and you don't have access to water, like if you're in a car or something, you could just spray this on there and it'll just keep everything nice and clean until you can wash them. This freezer organizer is phenomenal because it helps the milk just go in order of like first in and first to come out um that type of thing but it also has like a metal tray at the top which you put your newest bag on so that it freezes more easily because it's on like a metal surface um love that so i have the hocket and i also use the lb curve which i put on screen mine is currently in the sink i like both of them it kind of depends on how you are as a person the hocket it does hang out as you can see um and in the lb curve it fits in your bra so I use both because I'm always in the house, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. But then next up, I have these lactation massagers. They're basically breast massagers. Um, in the beginning, I it was a it was a struggle, guys. It really, really was. I was sore. My boobs were getting clogged. I had like clogged ducts actually like three, four days ago, um, because I'm overproducing and it's just difficult, especially with his lip tie. Like I said, sometimes it's not the best breastfeeding experience. And just on top of pumping or breastfeeding, I just pop one of these in my bra. And basically it's curved so it like conforms to your breast um, and it has vibration in it and it also warms up that way it just kind of helps everything just go down you know like it just tells your body this needs a little extra help we don't want this to stay blocked like that um, so these have been a godsend for me um, they are a little bit pricey but I definitely think they're worth it I came in handy for me in the beginning when I was breastfeeding and my boobs weren't really regulated yet so yeah I highly recommend these if you plan on going full-blown breastfeeding even if you just plan on pumping honestly because your boobs just can't get clogged you just never know and it just will need an extra little push next thing are these lactation cookies oh my gosh guys i love these cookies i eat these cookies like regular like as a snack they are so good so these are the munchkin milk makers um i like the oatmeal raisin ones and i like the oatmeal chocolate chip raisin ones they're just delicious if you're breastfeeding i would really really recommend them up for breastfeeding i just wanted to show you guys like my favorite favorite nursing bras because i have so many nursing bras it was definitely one of those things just trying to figure out what works for me so i just want to save you guys that and just tell you what i like why i like them and then if you want to try them feel free to but all nursing bras are made the same so this first one is from a brand called um blanky you guys know i love their maternity leggings as well i wore them while i was pregnant they're super super comfortable but these bras are so so well made it's pretty much a regular bra that you could wear this on a day-to-day -day basis but there's no wiring or anything it's super super thick i love the colors it comes in a black and like two or three nudes and i own all of them just because i don't know <laughs> why not other thing too is the price point like they're definitely not the most expensive ones i own they're not the cheapest they're somewhere right in the middle but the quality of them is kind of like why are they not more expensive like it, they're phenomenal i would highly recommend these and the next one i have is from skims i just wanted to see how i felt about this one i like this one as well because it's not padded it's just basically fabric but it's like a nice um stretch material it was expensive though depends on if you want padding or not i would honestly say but yeah and then for a super affordable option i have ones from boohoo i really like the ones from boohoo um this one is not like the prettiest like on the outside it definitely looks like a mom bra like these i feel like are kind of sexy to be in nursing bras so they make you feel good um this one's definitely giving mom she one of my favorite ones to wear because as you can see i'm going to show you when you unclip the ones from boohoo it's like a thicker piece of fabric that's left whereas when you unhook the other two that i showed you it's more so just elastic 
so it just depends on what your preference is this is more so my go-to for when i'm going to sleep because it's just more comfortable on my boob because it's not like pressing into me or anything um and these i like for daytime when i want to feel cute stuff like that i don't care how i look when i go to sleep because i get thrown up on and all that types of stuff <laughs> all right and then i'm just going on to like super random things right at the bottom of the basket so these things are not going to really be like categorized um but one of these things that i love is this like portable cleaner so it's the boone system it has like a mini grass so you could dry like probably four bottles on it honestly um a brush and like the nipple cleaner i just take this in his baby bag if i know i'm going somewhere that i might end up being there longer than like an hour or two whereas like if i run out of bottle i want to wash it and stuff um so yeah i really really like this if you travel a lot this is really really nice because it just comes in this nice sleek case and stuff on the topic of like bottle cleaning and stuff like that it's this pacifier sterilizer just press the button um and then it starts sterilizing it's the uv light turns on so cool so modern we didn't have these things seven years ago so they make me super excited and giddy um i also love having like pacifier containers i keep these in my house because i sterilize them and i put them in here that way i don't have to worry about them um, and as you guys can see, we have the bibs one in every color. We have like, I think this one was called like Ocean. I have this style one as well because I was trying to see if he liked that. Um, I have this one, which is like cloud gray. I have a nude one. We have a black one, a white one. I was covering all my outfit bases. Um, he still doesn't like them, but you know, can't win them all. Can't win them all. My next favorite thing are stroller hooks by you some stroller hooks you hang your purse in them you go shopping you hang the bags on them if they're not too heavy um hang the baby bag on them in case you don't have a baby bag with stroller hooks i like these ones because they're just really sleek looking they're really high quality they do not budge once you close them which i really, really like so i have three sets of these i have them on every single stroller i own um love them <laughs> the baby shisher should i play it for you guys super random you know shushing gets exhausting especially like you're just like you're getting sleepy now because you're shushing yourself um this is nice you just turn it up it's controllable sitting next to you it's gonna shush your baby to sleep um next up we have a portable air purifier and i know you're thinking what <sighs> um so this is by munchkin is it expensive but listen it works i t i use it all the time like just to test it out and it also has like the best filter you could get for air purifier which is why i opted for this one because i did my research i was looking at everyone on the market and this one is specifically made like it's sold for babies but you can obviously use it like in your office or anything um if you just press the button it'll it'll turn on the colors will show and it'll start circulating the air through it and it'll tell you the air quality um in your room or you could just turn it on to a setting but it's just really really nice to have if you're a little crazy like me um <laughs> uh, but i really really love that for my baby because i just feel like i'm taking the extra step to protect him you know um and then i want to go into diapers that was the other box that baby list offers a diaper box i would highly recommend you to get the diaper box and i'm gonna tell you why um, when Enzo first came home, I was using Pampers Swaddlers, which is, I feel like, the go-to for most parents. And then um, I bought this brand because it was just it was just following me on Instagram. When I tell you, I could never go back to a, a, a Pamper Swaddler to the point that all the extra ones I had, I went and I gave them and, like, donated them because I just was like, you know, you these are top of the line, okay? So Baby List does have a box that includes them in them if you want to, again, try everything, see what works for you. This brand works for me, and that is Coterie. Oh my goodness. I do have a coupon code for these diapers. I'll put it on screen for you guys. I believe it takes $20 off or order that's $75 or more for a first time order, and you get free shipping, but it does not apply to auto renew. But Coterie diapers are phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. First of all, they're cute. That's the one. I'm going to open it so I can show you one. Um, and it's easy because they just come straight to your door. Like, I don't have to ever concern myself with buying diapers. And that's just great for me because Enzo does go to the bathroom a lot and we run out quite often. So they're just all white. Is it going to focus? Um, a little bit. Um, they're all white. They're so much more thicker in comparison to other brands. Like, when I was holding them side by side, I was like, this is crazy. They're also way softer. But the reason I love these are because they just absorb moisture so, so good. Like, there was one time I used a regular diaper on him and I could like feel the beads from the moisture of his his urine and I was like, that's not it. 
I don't want my like that would make me uncomfortable if I felt like I was sitting in it this one it takes in everything like it really wicks moisture away which is what it claims like I if they told me I had to put my life on the line and stand by this part, I would. Like, I really, really stand by them. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, um, but they really are amazing, which is why I can also see why Babyless is back in them as well for their um, diaper box. Love them. And I also use the wipes because when I just get my subscription sent to my house, I just put the wipes on. I think the wipes are like an extra $30 for like eight packs or something like that. Um, they are 99% water, so love these as well we like these wipes over every other one that i use because they're just massive as you can see and they're soft and they're like super super thick like they don't rip so these are like the little things as a parent that you're like wow you know so yeah i love codery feel free to use my code again i have it on screen i have it down there below in the description box but super super nice brand but i know um the brand diaper is supposed to be really good as well but i just feel like diapers are coming a long way so do not just settle okay and the next couple of things that i love are all from the same company so we're just gonna finish off with that other than two things but they fit within another department that we're gonna talk about are frida frida baby frida ma so aesthetically pleasing so pretty high quality but so they make sense they just make sense so like this is a snot sucker um it sounds disgusting but it does the job you put this to your baby's nostril it has a filter so the snot doesn't go in your mouth and you suck in also have like this dual ended stick this like could be used for the air the nose the nails like everything kind of flips right here to have different picks so just super super cute things you throw in your bag you have in the house i have it in his like his first aid drawer um, of everyday items they also have this really nice brush that i love because you put it like this over your hand but it like conforms to the shape of your head so when the soft spot is still open um it's just nice to just get it all done in one suit this thing this is not free to baby but this bum coat this is for like diaper rash cream or anything it's just a little stick so you don't have to touch the diaper cream it works diaper cream is really really thick it's hard to wash off and it like stays everywhere this is silicone you use this Put it on your baby's butt wipe it off it also has a suction so it doesn't fall off and i love this thing i just think why was it made not made way way sooner the next things are from freedom mom and these are things that just also makes so much more sense than like how it was seven years ago i'm not gonna lie um babyless also has this brand that i was staring at when i was pregnant because i was gonna buy them for myself it's by a brand called bodily um and they're just a, again like a curated box style of things you're gonna need rather than having to buy everything separately um and it just makes so much sense so bodily has ones for like c-section specific they have ones that are like baggy one and they just have like a general one but it's the same concept as freedom mom uh just kind of depends on what you want to get i guess but i have the ones from freedom mom they were gifted to me so i have like the postpartum kit which is the one that comes in this one um and i have the recovery kit that like sits at home i used both of these i didn't finish everything because if you watch my birth story you know that the bobby pin is bothering me sorry you guys know that i was pretty much like in a regular pad 24 hours later so i didn't get through everything so i am gonna like donate all the things that are not open but it comes in this really really nice travel bag i'm gonna keep the bag though because i like the bag um and you basically get in everything you need for postpartum care so you get this which is a game changer from the ones you get in the hospital because it stays and it shoots up rather than you having one that doesn't shoot like it's just weird the ones that they giving you in the hospital this one is way better if you have to buy anything for your postpartum care buy this i definitely think it's worth it but then it also gives you like um the pad liner so when you wear the big ice pads this one was nice because rather than the little witch hazel pads that your hospital will give you if you do receive them those are circles so you use about three of those per every time you went to the bathroom this is just one long pad you also have the foam in here so you just put a couple pumps of the foam on there that also helps with healing but let's talk about the the shorts that they give you the boy shorts because they are a game changer in the hospital you get those like one size fits only shorts and they're just so thin they don't stay up they don't hold nothing you don't feel secure these are so, so much better. If I had to tell you two things to get from the entire Freedom Mom collection, it's these two things. You could kind of do without the rest and kind of make your way and use like Dermaplast and the witch, haze, the witch hazel pads and stuff like that. Um, but 
these are amazing freedom mom also makes the ice pads those are really nice quality as well but i feel like they were just re regular ice pads like there's nothing special about them but girl these are such do you see this they're such nice quality they like you feel good and you feel like you're wearing an underwear you feel like you're because you're literally wearing like three different things under your vagina and you just feel like this is going to hold it in whereas the other ones they just don't <laughs> just don't but while we're speaking about underwear for like your regular postpartum where you're not needing to have seven million things in your underwear these are really really nice because they have like a thicker band right here so while your body is feeling loose and you're just like what is going on this just makes you feel like you sucked in it provides that extra bit of help i um, mean i also like these because they're they're not the ugliest things i've ever seen i'm not gonna lie this with the black nursing bra i felt kind of sexy because it was kind of like a mid high waist vibe i liked it it made me feel good about myself even though my body had just pushed the baby out so yeah highly recommend these as well have a baby carrier wrap like this curious and the reason i'm showing you two carriers is because this is one that is like your generic old functional one it's the baby bajoran it's so so soft it's the mini one um, and this one is more so like if I know I'm like doing stuff around the house and I don't want to have like his arms and legs constricted or restricted to like these holes. This I would use like if I'm going outside to like the market or stuff like that. But this one is what I use for like house activities or if I want to be close to me but I need my hands. Um, this is what that's for. They're both expensive. I'm not going to lie. I would definitely say kind of think about what you need most if you had to pick one. Um, but... Yeah, I feel like these fabric ones are really nice for the house. And I just feel like when you go out, this provides extra support. But I know people use these outside as well. So again, it's kind of to each its own. Um, but they're both amazing quality. This one's really, really nice. And this one is so foolproof. When Harper was a kid, it was so hard to know how to put these on. And now it's like, it has color-coded areas. Like, why did it take companies so long to realize that they were making things so much more complicated than they had to be, you know? The last thing I have to show you guys is a breastfeeding pillow. I just want to say another thing, if you have to take away from this video, for breastfeeding pillows, this is the best one that you're going to get. It's so soft. It's so foolproof. It works. It's not one that you're going to be like, I don't know. It's, it's for you. Trust me. And it's again by Frida. I don't know if you guys can see how soft this is. Enzo falls asleep every time I use this. Um, but the nice thing about it is is they they basically address that not all moms are the same we all are different heights we're all the different body types um so for the strap in the back it is adjustable so that you could adjust it to fit around you but say if your your torso is longer than mine your torso is shorter than mine you could remove certain layers to adjust it to you which i think is really really nice and the quality on this is just insane like it's so so soft this nice jersey material but it's just so so nice it's so soft like i don't worry about him on this like i literally just lay him straight across and he's at my boob because i took out certain pillows on it so that it works for me it also comes with a back cushion and a back support which is really really nice so yeah i think that covers everything all my newborn must-haves i know it was a bit all over the place and that's just because we were pulling out the basket we were pulling tricks out of the bag um but yeah i'm just super excited about this video like I him getting diagnosed with a, a lip tie, him being way smaller than they said he was going to be, it kind of threw me for a loophole because things that I bought already, they just didn't work out for me. And luckily, I was able to buy things like the bottle box, the pacifier box and stuff like that. It wasn't something that I was like, oh, this is so expensive because I felt like it made sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I knew I was getting like the best products on the market and stuff like that. So yeah, I know you're probably thinking... <sighs> I don't need all of that. You don't need all of it. Definitely pick and choose what you need. But I just wanted you guys to know what like I stood by, what has been working for me and Enzo, and what makes my life easier. I feel like one thing about me as a parent, I always do what's easiest, but also what's the best quality for my baby. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a long one. I'm exhausted. I feel like my brain is hurting, but you know, I'm super excited to do this video for you guys and get it up. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my first baby video. There's so many more to come. If you're wondering why I didn't cover strollers, car seats, and all of that, it's because I'm going to do a separate video on like my luxury babies must have was it worth it list. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, that is coming soon as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much to Babylist for sponsoring this video as well. And yeah, I just...
listen uh, parenting is crazy but it's the best ride of your life it really really is guys it's like the most rewarding job even though you're tired and you're just like i just want five hours like just five hours of sleep it's the most rewarding job ever um again use all the resources on baby list make your registry use a registry consult and things like that and if somebody doesn't buy something for you on your registry that you really really want buy it yourself it's okay but yeah i will see you guys in my next video bye guys